I'll take this one to Mom's, that one to Dad's. No, wait, I need the blue top for Mom's picnic, but then I should have the red dress for Dad's royal parade. The red dress is really beautiful, Stella. True, I should probably wear it to Mom's garden tea party. Do you know any cloning spells? Uh, uh-uh. Oh, Stella, stop worrying about it and just divide your stuff in half. Then wear whatever you have. Wear whatever? You've got to be kidding. All the arrow magic potions go in the big bag, and all the floral scents go in the small one. Ow! Oh, we're on it, Flora. I just said goodbye to Sky. Vacation's way shorter this year. I know it won't be that long, but we kind of had a fight, and I hate to leave it at that. Maybe I should call him. 22.4% in this suitcase, and 78.6% in that one. Magisen! Precision wonderful. A thing of beauty. Come on, follow me. <laughs> Since Musa and I are staying here for the summer, we'll help you carry your stuff. No need to. Watch this. Luggage, follow me. So, what have you and Musa got planned? Today we're going to that new beach on the eastern shore. There's a shuttle bus every oh, hour. Watch out! I got it! idea how long it took me to divide up my clothes between my mom bag and my dad bag. <laughs> we'll help you repack. Stella, look! Up there! Oh. It's a sungram from Solaria. The Royal Court of Solaria is pleased to announce our official princess ball. A princess ball for me? I thought for sure they wouldn't have one. Oh, this is so I don't mean to sound dumb, but what's a princess ball anyway? It's like a coming out party for royalty. It means a princess is officially entering royal society. Back when they had arranged marriages, that's when they'd announce who you were going to marry. It's still the case in some kingdoms. Yeah, can you imagine? You're going to love your party, honey, and I'll be making a very special announcement that I am sure will make you very happy. Change of plans. Everyone's coming to Solaria. But, but and no ifs and buts. A princess ball is a once-in-a-lifetime event, and I want to share it with all of you. Don't get any closer or the ship will freeze. The Omega Dimension? You're not sending us there. Are you? Nope. You're not nearly bad enough for that. They say it's so cold down there it freezes your heart solid. Not a fate I'd wish on anyone. Sorry, lady. to freeze my heart, huh? Don't they know my heart is already so cold? Nothing can freeze it. <laughs> I've uploaded all the data into the magic port. Everyone in your Facebook will get an invitation, Stella. There's Timmy. And there's Skies! I think it's great that your dad's gonna host a princess ball in your honor. Not a lot of fathers know how to do that stuff. Including mine. My mom's the party planner. Maybe she's in on it. Separated. I bet you're right. The invitation didn't say from King Radius. It said it was from the royal court. And the royal court is the two of them, mom and dad. You know, I bet they're getting back together. I bet that's what the surprise announcement is going to be. Oh. Oh, I'm so excited. My parents are going to be my parents once again. And I'm having a princess ball. Come back.
mind. No more separate bags for you, clothes. I'm renting a limo. We're going to buy a dress. You're all coming. But Layla and I, we wanted to go to the beach. I'll go with you. Wake up, ladies! Huh? Uh, where are we? The Omega Dimension. Whoa, that is big time. Only the baddest of the bad get sent here. <laughs> Sweet, I bet they're talking about us at Cloud Tower. Uh-oh, looks like we've got company. I bet that's a security detail. Not good. Huh. And there you go. Thank you. Huh? Excuse me, but that's our pie. Not. <sighs> I'm sorry, but it'll be ten minutes till the next one's coming out. She won't mind waiting. I ordered that pizza. Well, possession is nine-tenths of the law. Then I'm repossessing it. Hey, give it back. No, it's mine. Let go. You let go. Uh, uh, my Dolce and Gablina. My spell on McCartney. Vanish. Stain removed. <gasps> what are you, Alfia fairies? Yeah, so what are you? Uh, betas. Tick tock, tick tock, Beta's rule, Beta's rock! Where's Beta? In the realm of cutesy? At least we're not from the realm of dork. Snap, snap, snap! Let's try to get along. Are you on break like us? Chimera's having a princess ball! That's so cool! So is Stella! We're shopping for dresses! So are we! We have a lot in common. It's so nice to meet fairies from another magic school. Whoa! What are you made of? Gumdrops and sugar plum pie? Hey, don't diss my girl, Flora. <sighs> yeah, or else what? Uh -huh. <laughs> Let's go find that dress now, Stell. Nice to meet you, beta girls. Good luck with your shopping. And, uh, Pizza Thief, that mud brown is a very good color for you. I suggest you stick with it. Good! And... Snap! Tech -nice. nice one, Tech. Thanks. Oh, oh bye! Oh, <gasps> I've got to go. Layla's waiting for me. Bye. See you later. Please step inside for your fitting. This room is so cool. Wait till you see the dresses they have. Tecna and I are going to check out the second floor. See ya. Okay, we'll catch you later. Virtual dresses, sweet? This is great when you're looking for designer stuff. A one-of-a-kind dress can be carried by a hundred different stores. Next. How about this one? Ooh, I like it. Let me try. Wow. <laughs> you look great. Why, of course, Sky. I would love to dance. <laughs> Shorter. More glamorous! Supermodels! Rock stars! Absolutely fab! Gorgeous! This is it! This is the dress I'm going to wear to the princess ball! You look beautiful! I can't wait for my father to see me in this! This dress is available at Boutique Wizrahi in the Western Mall. That's not far! Let's go! This is so fabulous! <laughs> uh, that's my dress! Mm-mm, it's mine. Well, there's only one, and I'm going to get it first! Hey, look, your shoe's untied! Huh? No, it's not! Ah! Ouchie! Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> See you later, Alfia losers! <laughs>
this out. Whoa, that dude got sentenced to eternity. He must have done something bad. You think he's awake? Yeah, it sure looks like it. Let's try and find out. Frozen dude, blink once if you can see us. Hey, he looks awake. What now? Maybe if we give them this guy, the snakes will leave us alone. Excellent idea. Huh? Sorry, dude, it's you or us. Nice work, goth guy. Thank you. How long were you in there? Seventeen years. Were you awake the whole time? Yep. Whoa, sounds boring. Gives you time to think. About what? About whom you're gonna pay back, and how. Valtor, huh? What do you say we break out of this popsicle stand together, Valtor? Follow me. Hang on a second. You're cool, obviously packing some power. And if we team up, we have a better chance of breaking out of here. But don't give us any orders. Yeah, that'd be a big mistake. Of course. I'd be foolish to think otherwise. <sighs> Come on, Bloom. Let's go get that dress. Huh? Ah. There they are. Through there! The Western Mall is that way! Are you sure this is worth it? I really love that dress! We're so gonna get there first! Ta-ta, betas! They're attacking us over a dress! Right! Yeah. And we're not gonna take it! Oh, take this! Control is she? Ta-ta, Alfia girl. How could you sell that to her? I'm the princess of Celeria and it was for my princess ball. Strange. She told me she was the princess of Celeria. Huh? Are you sure? Actually, she said she wasn't yet, but she'd be soon. <gasps> there it is. The gate to Andros. Looks sturdy. All we have to do is make a little crack in it so I can get my energy out there and take it down. Say no more, ladies. The gate is reinforced with magic. I think I know how to overcome that. Hey, Ice Snake, over here! What are you doing? Come on, Snake, bring on the freeze! Now hit it with all you've got! I like your style. Right back at you, Valtor. <clears throat> Over there, the Omega Dimension Gate! Someone's trying to break out! Now 
now that they're my minions, I have all their power. How do all these guys get minions? I don't know, but we've got to get some too. <sighs> Andros is mine! Yeah! What did you do to your hair? A little change of style. Really nice. And I've just upgraded my wardrobe with a new dress. Can we see it? Here? Yeah. Come on. Well, okay. Wow. You look stunning. You do. It's awesome, Stella. That's very nice of you, but you should have seen the other one. Stell, you're having a princess ball, your parents are getting back together, and we're on semester break. How could things possibly be better? Maybe if we were here. <laughs> Brandon, there you are. Hi, Timmy. Hey. Helia. <laughs> Sky, I, I thought you'd gone back to Iraq. Leon. I was halfway there when I got Stella's invite, so I turned around. I wouldn't miss a chance to take you to a princess ball for anything in the world, Bloom. I'm sorry we fought before. Me too. We brought stuff for a cookout. Burgers, hot dogs, marshmallows, and Listen, music. Listen, you guys, something's wrong. Yeah, I know. I should change the station. No, I mean something's wrong with the ocean. <gasps> That was refreshing. The wave's appearance <laughs> was an anomaly. A big time anomaly. I wonder what caused it. A dimensional shock wave. And that means something terrible has happened to the heart of all oceans. <gasps> Princess Layla? That's me. What is it? Lomstad Kutunistota. What did she say? Andros is in trouble. I have to go. We're going with you. You can't, guys. I have to go through the ocean. My people need me. are multiplying. Good work, Valtor. Oh, I'm only just getting started. No matter what! 
these mermaids. I'm going back to see if there are others. Something's definitely happening in the Sea of Andros. Something dark. Something terrible. <gasps> Please, sisters, don't hurt us. Let us go. Corelia, they don't hear us anymore. They're not themselves. Something's changed them. Not something, mermaid. But rather, someone's changed them. And that someone is me, Valtor. They wear my mark. It means they belong to me. And now you too will be mine. Yes. Very impressive. Way to go. Way to give those goody-goody mermaids what they deserve. First, you burst it out of the Omega dimension. Then you turned Andros into your own personal playground, and now you found the interdimensional portal? Me, the two of us, I mean the four of us, are going to go far. Yes, farther than you could ever imagine. But we must not rush into things. I've waited long enough for this. I can wait a little while longer. Prisons made me weak, but once I've regained my power, I'll be strong enough to conquer the whole universe. A universe where we'll be able to reach every dimension through this magic portal. One by one, these kingdoms will fall, and I will absorb their magic power. I'll become the supreme master of all living things. Across the universe, my mark will spread, and the reign of Valtor will come to be. But Valtor, you're already mega powerful. It's not enough. To regain my full power, I need the magic of the Kingdom of the Sun. And lucky for me, the sun always shines on Solaria. No luck, Bloom. I've tried every possible way to contact her. Sorry. I know you did your best, Tecna. Don't worry about it. Good try. Still no news from Layla? Nope, not a thing. Strange, isn't it? Layla seems to have just disappeared into thin air. I'm starting to worry. It's like she fell off the face of the realm. Oh, come on, girls. I'm sure she's just busy and we'll hear from her soon. Now you, off you go. She's not gonna miss the party of the century. But my birthday is until, oh, <laughs> you met your party. Duh, my princess ball is tomorrow, remember? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you were joking! That was a joke! <laughs> Bloom, don't you ever do that again! Some things are just way too important to joke about, and my party is one of them. Okay! And as far as you're concerned, the answer is no, you can't come. So, are we ready? We'll catch up with you. We still have a couple of things to do here. Well, just don't keep me waiting too long. I'm ready. Are those your bags? Yeah, this time I decided to travel light. Buckle up, Bloom. Time to go. Solaria! Solaria! Princess! <laughs> oh, Daddy! <laughs> your luggage, your highness. Oh, I almost forgot. Be careful. They're very delicate. <laughs> your Majesty? Oh, forget Majesty. Just call me King Radius. <laughs> <laughs> Bloom, you are most welcome here. Stella has talked a lot about you. Make yourself at home. I'll do my best. Even though my house is about a hundred rooms smaller. Oh, you'll see. You'll get used to it quickly. Wow, this is quite a castle. Come on, I'll show you to your quarters. But first, I'll give you the grand tour. I've saved the best for last. This is the Hall of the Universe. All the galaxies of the Magic's dimension are in here. It has always been my favorite area of the castle. Somewhere in that vast world of stars are my birth parents, Ortel and Marion. 
the king and queen of Domino. My world was destroyed, turned into a cold and barren land. My people were swept away by the dark power of the witch's coven. But I'm still here, and so are my birth parents. I feel they are still alive, and even though finding them won't be easy, I will do it. Because while there is hope, there will always be a chance. with this sad face and teary eyes. It's all right, Stella. I'm good. Don't forget, we're here to have fun. No frowns allowed. Think about tomorrow. It's going to be a great day. And nothing or no one is going to spoil it. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> and they're all for you? Yep, and there are four other rooms full of them. If you combined all my birthdays, I've never gotten this many presents. Well, you know, most of them are nothing special. Old-fashioned jewels, gaudy tiaras, bulky scepters, cloaks... You never snotty wear. girl, I hate you. <sighs> I tell you, a princess's life is so hard. What are you doing here? Mom, envy is not befitting of a young lady of noble bearing. But that Stella is truly detestable. I simply cannot stand that girl. Now you, you would make a much better princess of the sun and the moon. But I'll be Stella's poor little stepsister forever, won't I? King Radius will always think she's better than me. A father's love for his daughter is hard to overcome. A mother's love, on the other hand, is something that can never be suppressed. Now smile, curtains up. Dearest Stella. Uh, oh. That's Countess Cassandra. She's very powerful in the royal court. Countess? Morning. Oh, here's the present I got for you. I hope you like it. Ew, very pretty. But more importantly, it's the thought that counts. My daughter chose it. She's in the advanced sorcery program at Beta Academy. Have you met Chimera? <laughs> you? You? Why, you're the dress thief! It's a small world, your uh, What's going on? I don't understand. There was just a tiny little bit of a misunderstanding between them back in magics. I, I didn't steal anything, but the Princess of Solaria uh, should have any dress she wishes. I don't want to make you cry, so if you want mine, I'll just give it to you. Uh, you keep it! I don't wear second-hand clothes! Uh. It might not look like it now, but this could very well be the beginning of a lasting and beautiful friendship. Out of my way! <laughs> Have fun while you can, Stella, because I swear I will ruin your party. Bloom, get up! It's very late! <laughs> but it's dawn. Exactly. There are just ten hours left before my party, and we've got a ton of things to do. <laughs> There's my hairdo, my beauty treatment, and I need a few more outfits. You know, for the pre-party and the post-party parties. <gasps> and what do I have to do with all this? I need somebody I can ask how I look. I mean, somebody I trust. girl. I can't stand her. She's pretty, she's royal, and she's also lucky. I hate her so much, I'd give anything to be like her. Would you really? <laughs> who, who are you? What are you doing in our room? I heard your call for help, and I answered. Uh, 
I have a proposal to make. I will give you both astonishing powers to cast charms and spells. I'll give you the chance to make all your dreams come true, ladies. My name is Valtor. I've never heard of him, Ma. Hush up! And what do you want in return, Valtor? Just a ray of sun, my lady. I simply want to bathe for a moment in the magic light that illuminates Solaria. With the power I offer you, you will be able to rule over King Radius, and you will become the new princess of the sun and the moon. Countess, just lead me to the steeple of the sun, and all this will be yours forever. Very well. Follow me. I guess I got lost. I was looking for my room. Down the stairs, end of the corridor. Hmm. <coughs> Soldiers, leave us alone for a moment. of Solaria. The source of life for this world. Ah, oh, the heat is strong. The energy flows right through me. Uh. Ah. Uh. And now I am Baltar once again! And now my dear ladies, it is time for me to keep my promise. <gasps> uh, uh. The party. The guests are arriving. Then I'll leave you to your festivities. I must go as well. But I'm sure we'll see each other again very soon. Stella is not with you? You'll see her soon. <laughs> wow, they really went all out for the princess ball. Wait till you see the princess. Up there, look! Welcome, my friends, and thank you all for coming. Today, my heart is full of joy and happiness because my Stella is back here among us. Today is your day, but I've got one more surprise. A surprise for me? Well, more or less. It's a surprise for the whole family, the whole of Solaria, in fact. My dearest friends, I have another announcement to make. Sorry to distract you from our royal buffet, but I'd like to let you know that this kingdom will soon have a queen again. Cassandra, my dear? Ladies and gentlemen, in a month's time, Countess Cassandra will become my wife. Stella, you'll soon be able to call me Mom. Why didn't you tell me about this before? Well, I, I wanted it to be a surprise. We'll get along fine, you'll see. It's difficult for her, but I'm sure Shimera will help her through it. My father ruined my party. Imagine, Cassandra and her horrible daughter are going to be my new family. Hey, look on the bright side. What bright side? Well, Shimera could have had a twin sister. Sorry if I don't laugh, but I was hoping my parents were going to get back together. But this, this is the worst thing my father could have done to me. <laughs> Stella, I brought you a little present. Thanks. I'll open it later. Put it with the others. Give that back. I'll give it to her. 
don't get upset, Brandon. Stella's feeling a little distressed right now. Duty calls, sweetheart. Shall we open the ball? Enjoy your last moment of peace, little sister, because things are about to change. Days as your father's little angel are over by the power of Valtor. Change, transform, transmute. Uh, 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 Sweetheart, what's wrong? This monster is not your daughter. Listen to my voice. This monster is not your daughter. Now do as I say. Guards, take this horrid creature away. This is not my daughter. No, Daddy. Daddy, it's me. Good job, Mother. Good job, daughter. To think we're only just getting started. It has never rained on Solaria before! I don't get it! What happened? Don't worry, Stella. We're gonna protect you. And who's gonna protect you? They're with the monsters! Guards, get them! Alive or not! All right, girls. Magic Wing! Soldiers, take the king to a safe place. That monster is trying to attack him. <laughs> Electro cage! Stand back! Tecna, take it easy. We don't want to hurt them, just stop them. Hey, if this is a dance party, we need a disco ball. There they are. Let's get them. Bloom, don't stay here. Go with Stella. You go too. There are too many soldiers. Go back to the ship and prepare to leave. I have a feeling we won't be invited to the next party. I'll be happy just to get out of here in one piece. I didn't mean to scream. Someone cast a spell on you. Any idea who could have done that? We'll figure that out later. Let's just go. My father. I have to see my father. He has to know I'm not a monster. Your father was scared, Stella. That's why he said what he did. There's a ton of them! Wrapping Ivy! We use them. Where to, Stella? Let's go to the aviary tower. If we go up to the top, they won't be able to reach us. This time they're trapped, but they don't know it yet. I'll start up the magic platform. We'll beat them to the top easily. Uh, girls, can you speed it up a bit? Why? Are you in a hurry? Not me, but that thing down there is moving faster than us. Keep going, girls. I'll stop them with a firewall. <laughs> 